Saranya from Chennai. I am working as a cloud engineer. I am also a passionate writer, editor and a book reviewer. Today I will be performing one of my short story which I have written for the Ink Feathers anthology, The Loved One. So here it goes. I hope you all enjoy the story. She is a fantasy. Opposite poles attract each other. It's not only for magnets but also for people. I have a sister and her name is Shakti. Guess what Shakti means in the Tamil language? It means the power. My parents gave her the name without any expectation that she would become like one in the future. Though I hate her for providing me hard times, she is one tough woman. When I was born three years after her, I took over all her beautiful toys and dresses. As she was too young to pull a fight with me, she stayed calm. She was a resident, balanced child at a young age. But I was just the opposite. All the toys she has been protecting for three years, I broke them in only 30 days and asked for more. She wasn't reacting to any of my playful behaviors. Maybe that's why my parents loved having her around than me. They got tired of me all the time. I was so hard to control. On the other hand, my sister was such a beautiful, well-behaved child. During my childhood, as I was always roaming around the streets and having fun, I didn't play with her more. We had spent most of our childhood in that place only. When I turned four, my parents bought a new house and we moved there. That's when I and my sister started becoming closer. As we were new to the place and were yet to make new friends, we started enjoying each other's company for the first time. There were many newborn babies and children in our area. We both loved children and would like to play with them. But Shakti never allowed me to carry any baby whenever I was with her. She would ask me to hold the baby for two minutes. Later, she would come up with some silly reasons and take them from me. I was the most disappointed younger sister in the world whenever she did something like this to me. On weekends, I wanted to play with my medical kit and kitchen set toys in the afternoon because you know Chennai weather and mom didn't allow us to go outdoors at noon. Shakti would play with me only if I gave her the toys which she wanted. I often get confused between who is the younger one here because my sister I used to hear stories that their brother gave this, their sister gave to their old toys. But in my case, it was just the opposite. She wasn't the typical elder sister after all. Though I hated her for taking away my favorite toys, I had no choice but to play with her. We studied in the same school. Whenever my friends, my friends gave me any snacks which I knew my sister would like, I went to her class and gave it to her in my leisure time. And she did the same too. That was the only reason for us to communicate in our school. I used to watch TV series and movies a lot, but she loved songs only. She was a beautiful singer too. Like every other sibling, we had our own This Is My Turn Fight For Remote and TV Times. I started listening to Carnatic music because of her. Days passed with all her little fights and arguments. Her board exams were coming closer. She wasn't so serious about them and she was enjoying her last few days in school. That surprised me because I was the type of person who took everything seriously, worked hard and wanted everything to be perfect. She was precisely the opposite of me. She used to take things lightly and enjoyed every moment in her life as if it, it was her last day on earth. That is something I learned from her when I grew up. I was studying 9th standard when she completed the high school and she was all set to start college. When the whole family asked her to study computer science or engineering, she stood up for herself and told her that she would study English literature. Everyone tried to convince her in every possible way, but she was not convinced and studied literature. Whenever I think of how she stood up for her dreams, I regret myself for not fighting enough for what I wanted and for choosing engineering over journalism. I never had enough guts to fight for what I wanted back then. She was all set to move to a new city for her college. I went along with my dad to drop her at the bus stop. I started crying halfway on the road and she cried too. But later, I enjoyed being alone at home. I didn't have to fight for the remote anymore. I could hold any babies without a disturbance. All that fun lasted for two weeks. Then I started missing her. I was sitting on the stairs and I was crying silently. 
Whenever she came for holidays, I listened to her stories, took her literature books and started reading literature for the first time. Over time, our bond became more powerful every day. It didn't mean that we stopped fighting. We had our own meaningless fight as always, but the love was so more potent than those. She was done with undergraduation and came back for her post-graduation. In our early 20s, we both looked so similar and everyone who saw us together and would go like, hey, wait, are you twins? Even the Google got confused and asked, say, more different person. I was happy with the fact that we had some similarities in our appearance because we had nothing in common. She was the one who introduced me to makeup, eyeliners, kajal and lip shades. Her post-graduation and my undergraduation days started together. We both shared accessories and we had all the fun. Shakti was this bold girl who would even slap a guy if he flirted or misbehaved with any of us. When I was a teen, she taught me to stand up for what I want and she taught me few swear words in case of emergency. She wasn't the advising type of sister. She tells things randomly on a walk or while watching a movie. She tells things very randomly. She somehow got to know everything I do as if she was monitoring me on a camera. She never scolded me right away after knowing things. She had this strange kind of patience and dropped stuff at the oddest of time. That is the one thing I was always afraid of Shakti even now. Expect the unexpected is not only Micromax's tagline but also hers. The harder I tried to hide things from her, the easier she finds them. So I started telling her everything, my crush, my anxiety, my anticipation and fear. But she knew it all already. I felt so comfortable and found myself at peace after telling her everything. I didn't have any trouble in my teenage because she had it all covered. I never worried about not having an elder sister because I got my Shakti. She's so friendly and can get along with anyone in less than a minute. I was just the opposite of her. My friends used to visit my home, not to spend time with me, but with my sister. She was the most jovial and happening person I have ever known. I started admiring her a lot and felt so lucky to have a sister like her. She completed her post-graduation and all set for her wedding. Things were happening so fast and I didn't even realize that I was going to miss her. It was that time of the night I told her that I love her so much and would miss her annoying me while sleeping. It was that time of the night when we kept our phones apart and hugged each other. It was that time of the night when I realized that I have the most beautiful sister. It was that time of the night we walked down the memory lane together. It was that time of the night when I promised her I would be more responsible because the very next day she got married and moved to a new city. I cried a river on her marriage. It is weird to say that I can't live without her but I can never imagine my life without her. Days passed and we often met. Nothing has changed after her marriage. We were the same annoying sisters. I completed my engineering and like most of the engineers, I struggled a lot for my first job. My family started advising me to prepare for government exam and bank exams. Even though I didn't like engineering, when I joined, slowly I developed a passion for it and learned many. So I didn't want to give up. Only because of her encouragement, I persistently tried and cracked the interview of the famous IT company. After getting the result, I went to meet her and we both hugged in tears. It was Shakti who strongly believed in me when no one else did. It was she who always told me that I deserve the best. It was she who believed in my hard work more than me. I got a job and moved to Bangalore. I never stayed away from home and everything was a brand new experience for me. The long distance relationship brought Shakti and me even more closer. But I hardly told her that I missed her a lot. I visited her whenever I had holidays. She used to cook all my favorite food in Nanhar just to put that big smile on my face. Life was so good. A few months, a few months later, I got a call from her husband that she was admitted to the hospital. I was reminiscing all the enjoyable recollections of her days and hurried to the hospital. Shakti always used to tell me a story while playing with my cheeks. You are so tiny, pink and your eyes were closed tightly. The nurse showed you and told me that you are my sister. I touched your cheeks slowly. You didn't move. You were sleeping so pretty and cute. I didn't have a camera back then but I just took a picture with my eyes and I still remember that moment like it happened yesterday. I get irritated whenever she plays with my cheeks but 
I enjoyed her moment of happiness. I never had the experience of seeing a newborn baby until this moment. I reached the hospital and my sister delivered a beautiful baby girl. Shakti was unconscious and was sleeping well because of the labor pain. I lifted the baby and started looking at her in the amazement. Now I know how Shakti must have felt when she saw me for the first time. I was telling the baby how lucky she is to have a mother like my sister. I was waiting her to open my to open her eyes so I could tell her how I met her baby. Opposite poles attract each other while the same poles repel each other but all of them have the same magnetic field and same magnetic force even though Shakti and I don't have anything in common she is my magnetic force and I am her magnetic field thank you